Uh, we're here with Eagle Farm trainer Desley Forster. Des, Conquermore lining up in the mode plate for Phillies on Saturday. Uh, step up the list of grade after winning at Ipswich last start. And then how's she coming along? Yeah, she's come along really, really well. Um, I said, like I know it's a big step up from Ipswich, but her, her run at Ipswich was super the other day. She was three deep the trip and um, had a king. I said, she doesn't know it's a listed race. Um, everything we've sort of thrown at her, she keeps, keeps taking the next step. So her main goal is if she can draw a gate, she can just lob there, do no work, and hopefully she can be finished there late. But as I said, it's back to three old fillies, um, which is, I said, listed races don't come along too long for the three old fillies. So we'll give her a crack, and this will give us a good gauge exactly where she's at as well. Um, she may, if she's been competitive, she'll go on, but if not, she'll go out and have a break and come back for the early part of the early next year. Probably done, probably something most people don't do. I've put a, a non-claiming, put a apprentice on in a non-claiming race. Um, I've got a lot of time for Jackson Murphy. So I've put Jackson on, he's ridden her before, so I've given him the opportunity to ride her. And um, yeah, so look, I think he's gonna be one of the very serious jockeys around in Brisbane. Yeah, he's in serious form at the moment, isn't he? Yeah, exactly. And he's a really nice young man. So as I said, um, he's ridden her before he rode her. Didn't have much luck on him when he rode her, but no, so hopefully he can draw a gate. And I think she's gonna be very competitive as our back Barbie's gonna be very hard to beat. But as I said, I'm very happy with his filly. She's, she does everything we've asked her to do and she's very tough and very honest. Desert Digby heading towards the winning Rupert Plate on the weekend after putting two nice wins together um, in midweek grade. How's he going to measure up on Saturday? It really probably comes down to what sort of barrier draws. If he can draw a nice gate, he can just lob there and do no work. And um, I said, look, he's been really, really well. I said, we've been taking the shades off and since we've taken the shades off, he's sort of ridden a bit quieter and he's finding the line really, really well. Um, as I said, like, it's a different sort of company on Saturday, Zeus Soul and those, all the horses, but probably all depends on what Barry draws and that's what it's going to come down to. But as I said, his work here was really good this morning. He seemed to have come on again, so hopefully we can draw a nice gate on Saturday and hopefully he can be competitive and it'll give me a gauge exactly where he fits in and where he's at. As you said, he did. He does get through the line really nicely and I mean, he's won over 1,050 up to 1,200. Can you see him getting further in the future? Uh, Mark and I thought he probably will, probably just not right now. Still a little bit, still doing a few little things wrong. Um, like Mark said, when he comes around the corners, he sort of wants to get on the wrong leg and that. So once he learns, I think he will, probably next campaign. Chapter and verse ran at Doomman on Saturday, and as you said, there's no speed in the race, um, but were you happy with the way he finished off? Yeah, very happy with how he raced. Um, I said they walked, and it was always going to be pretty hard for him when he gets back and the way he races. But no, super the way he finished off, really nice and strong. So um, he'll probably go back to Doom into a no metro win in two weeks, uh, 1,200 metres. Playing with the idea of putting the shades on him just might make him travel a bit more genuine in the run. Second, like third up, second run at 1,200. So it might be a good idea to put the shades on. Hopefully there'll be plenty of speed and that way he can get home over the top of them.